Hey, welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. We've had a Dansko or a Sunita blowout. Previously, I showed how to repair the sole of a Dansko clog with JB Weld, which works quite well. But this is a completely different animal. Look at this. The upper part of this clog is great, perfect. This whole sole has just fallen off. It's like, what in the world? Well, this requires something with substantially more volume to fix it, so we're turning to a Loctite strong construction adhesive. We're going to use this Loctite power grip construction adhesive, and I think this will hold that sole in permanently. Let's apply it. So we're going to apply this construction adhesive throughout the entire defect. Fill it in. And also add some to this area. As well. Then we're going to clamp it. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, here's the moment of truth. I'm going to fit this in. Okay, that fits. And we're going to clamp it with the number of clamps to hold this in place. I think the clamp of choice are these quick grips. They work very nicely. And the most important area to get clamped, obviously, is the toe. Then, I'm going to put an additional clamp here in the, on one side of the body. Another clamp back here, too. So we've got a good compression everywhere. I might get one more clamp in there. And remember, and remember what they say in woodworking. Can't be too thin, too rich, or have enough clamps. So, put another one on here. Really crank that baby down. We'll wait till this all sets up. And we should, should be in good shape. We've got some good squeeze out going on here, which is nice. We'll just wait. It's really a pity because the upper part of this, the leather part and other things are in perfect condition. But these soles, just like in the soles of other things such as hunting boots, other things like that, they're problematic and with time they fail. So we'll take the clamps off this in a little bit and see how that turns out. So we've had our Loctite uh, clamped now on our shoe for actually 48 hours. So let's take those clamps off and see how it looks. So I used four of these quick grip clamps. They're very versatile. They're some of my favorite. Kind of smashed the shoe and left a little residual film here which I'll just cut that off but looks like a pretty good fix. Even though it completely took the sole off the whole way around that construction adhesive is what we needed to really fix this. So I'll just trim this now with a utility knife such as this being careful take away some of that take away some of that extra so we'll just use the utility knife to just pair this safely away from ourselves. And if we leave behind a small white line, I think that's okay.
I actually wanted to see a little overflow here knowing that uh, we had completely filled that gap. So I think that pretty much takes care of that. A little more trimming here will do, etc. But overall that turned out pretty nicely for us. I think that's going to be it's going to be a good solid repair. So when we've had a complete delamination and loss of the sole of these expensive shoes, we need something more than just JB Weld. With the previous video, we were taking care of some cracks in the sole, and then for that purpose, JB Weld worked great. But when you've got a complete delamination, the sole absolutely separating from the body, we need something more. And I'd say, you know, liquid nails, any type of construction adhesive, this Loctite, really can work quite well and give us the repair we want. Again, isn't it frustrating that we buy a, a pair of expensive shoes like this, and these are made in Denmark, leather uppers, beautiful leather, high quality, and then the soles fall apart. And it's not due to wear, it's totally due to time. And there's a time, uh, over time, these must lose their plasticizer, they become, they deteriorate and they just start to crack, break, fall apart. And that's the case with other shoes and boots. I've experienced it with redhead hunting boots, very disappointing. And then when you take these to your local shoe repair uh, place, typically they charge you more than what you paid for the boots themselves, which is quite frustrating. And these dance goes, the shoe repair place in my neighborhood is unable to fix them. So. Gosh, I hate to throw these away. These have so much more life. The upper, the upper body, the, the leather part, beautiful. So trying to repair these, I think, is valuable. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like, please click like. Comments are always appreciated. Um, and always stay safe.